guys, sorry for the lack of content lately. I've been kind of really busy, so I just haven't been able to make as many videos. For today's video, I thought we would do a cage tour for Chai because I gave you one for Speedy, well, like a makeover slash cage tour. I don't really change up Chai's too much. I do add new stuff in for enrichment and kind of switch things around to make it more habitable for him but um it mainly stays the same but I still thought I'd just show you what's going on if you guys have any constructive criticism for how to improve my hamster cage or animal care in general I'd love to hear it let's jump right into today's video most of you guys know this but I actually have the Paha hamster cage which I believe is like a thousand thirty six square inches of floor space also, I'm going to add more bedding in as soon as I get it, and I'm upgrading the wheel hopefully soon um, to a 10 or 11 inch or 12 inch if I can. We have his 9.5 inch silent runner, which I like. It's a little bit small. I might give it to Speedy if I can get Chai a new one, but right now it's not in the budget. And then we have this six chamber multi hideout and a DIY like cardboard toy with like a popsicle stick top. I also put some toilet paper on it to make sure he didn't get fingers caught in it. And then a little chew toy, a mushroom chew toy that he really likes. And then a little mug that he uses as his little hideout and a rock pie bat. Then he has his Waze camera. Uh, it's a Waze V3 and I really like it. It like has a night vision also notifies me whenever there's movement in the cage so I can come check on him and I can also look at the feet, uh, the playback and make sure he was just being active and acting normally so then if anything ever happens out of the ordinary I will know to take him to a vet or figure out I can see what's happening. Over here we have the DIY dig box that I made. I also showed this in a short um, it was inspired by Victoria Rachel. I think mine's a little bit smaller than hers. It has Eco Earth substrate, corn cobs substrate, and like a DIY cardboard substrate. There are some apple branches. His feeding station, but I actually don't put his food in here. He just has his water and then the terracotta dish is really good for wearing down hamsters nails. So I put it in there. He has a cork log here and a cork log here. A little wood slit that's on like it has little dowels on it to keep it up and he can just sit on it if he likes and then right there he has a little like DIY snuffle mat I think I got the idea from the fluffy hamster or pancake the hamster I can't remember but and then also like a DIY little hideout it's like a peak box I would have put another little thing in it to make it a multi-chamber hideout but I thought this was just better, so I just did that. I hope you guys liked this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you next time. If you are not subscribed already, do so. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions about hamsters, rabbits, um, or anything else related to my videos. And hopefully I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!